Hey, what's up, everyone? Here is Gus with you guys again. <laughs> yeah, we made it. We made it from South Carolina, literally from Fort Mill, South Carolina, down to Florida, uh, Pompano Beach area, Deerfield Beach, Fort Lauderdale area. So we spent literally 10 hours on the road. And you know what? Believe it or not, we made this straight. Three stops, boom, and then we got here, which is fantastic. We saved time. We are recovered from like the jet lag, <laughs> and then uh, we are ready to go, you know where, right? To go fishing. So. This is what we're gonna do here. We the plan is to stay a couple of days here fishing. This is gonna be one of the videos that we're gonna make for saltwater fishing, which is gonna be very nice. You have to watch this video. Um, we are well prepared here. We've got uh, like a, a bunch of camera gears, uh, drone for aerial footage, um, and it's gonna be really cool, really nice. So right now. Uh, we are headed to Deerfield Beach where we go like for uh, fishing pier um, today just to, you know check the area talk to the people around and see you know how the fishing things work here in the um, in this area which is a really really cool area one thing that I would like to mention here in this video as well with you guys so if you're planning to go saltwater fishing and come down here to Florida in this area like in Pom Pompano Beach area you have to visit Big Dog Tackle Store so that people they help you a lot with uh, anything you need when you're thinking about going fishing so especially in saltwater they are like they they really know what they are doing and they really know how to take care of the customer because like this is how I feel and the, how I felt when I went there last night to get some information talk about some like gears for saltwater fishing so and then uh, I bought some some stuffs over there I bought rods I bought like reels and uh, so I think that we are ready here um, for this uh, saltwater fishing day so if you come here in this area don't forget visit big dog tackle store in pampano beach and they will give you all the assistance you need for fishing right stay stay with me stay tuned and uh let's get the ball rolling yeah that's the tackle store that i was talking to you guys the big dog you can see here on the and now everything is on sale here and uh, they are doing like a uh outdoor you know sale event so we're gonna swing by here to talk with them and uh talk a little bit with the guys because they are very nice people and then i'm gonna buy get a uh, ice bag that they gave me for free so this is why i'm here Yeah, exactly. That's what we were doing. It was still blue. It was right. I mean, you couldn't even touch it. It was so hot. 
Yeah, they are very uh, cool people, you know, like, and then they asked me to swing my and pick up a uh, ice, ice bag for free. <laughs> Lighthouse Point in Florida in my friend's house Dim and he invited us to enjoy the afternoon here with him where we're gonna prepare in some dinner with the fish that we caught last night and also Dim is a I would say very very professional fisherman and a, okay, a, a chef as well so what he's gonna be doing here with us and Dim come over come over here what he's gonna be doing here with us is he's gonna be preparing some sashimi, some sashimi. Yes. So now he's gonna be in front of the camera and I'm gonna be behind of the camera. All right, let's that's, go. That's the stage so, is yours. So I, I caught these two uh, yellow-tailed jack in San Diego. And this is a, uh, maybe like a 40, 50 pound bluefin tuna. Mm -hmm. And this is the belly part. So there's a lot of fat. You can see there's a I lot of that. fat there. Uh -huh. uh, that's a, that hole there's a, it's probably a gaff mark, so I'll have to cut that out. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, bluefin belly tuna and uh, yellow tail. Uh, so in Japanese, that would be called a uh, toro. Uh -huh. And this is a uh, hamachi. All right. So I'm just gonna slice it. I've got some ice sitting there. So when I slice it up, I uh, see that. You'll, you'll have a, uh, just to keep the filet cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll make sashimi and sushi out of this. All right. And I don't have my my sushi knife, but I'm just using my filet knife here. I'm say, no? Hamachi. And that's uh, toro. This stuff is <laughs> seriously good stuff. Mm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's the slob? Mm -hmm. Lorenzo? <laughs> Put that in the water later. No, no, leave it. Oh, actually, take it now before somebody steps on it. I just uh, cook up some rice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> cook up some rice, and uh, when it's done, you put a little uh, vinegar, like mirin, so it's kind of sweet. 
that's all I use. You know, mm -hmm. real sushi, they use some sake, some other stuff. But and what do you do like to to have oh, the rice shit. Shit. like Why sticky? Right? Mm. You know? Mm. What do you do to, to have the rice stick like this? To put a, something else or is it Japanese different? Rice. Oh, Japanese rice. It's Japanese a type rice. of rice okay. that you use, yeah. So now I made a big and then what is your suggestion Jim for us to prepare I th this? I, th I think we're gonna actually we should cover this guy up for now mm -hmm. so that I don't get on him. Mm. Mm. My belly is good, huh? Oh the belly. But how much? Hey, let's see. In Japan I bought like this many pieces. $30. Yeah. Hmm. Just like four pieces was 30 bucks. Mm. So let's try hamachi here. Okay. Let's see. What? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> this is good. Oh. Hmm. Did you meet? Another one, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Slice it here, get there, <coughs> and then uh, just get the skin, the skin on the side here. Oh. Yeah. I do the fritter like this too. Uh -huh. <coughs> and then when you find the main spine, right? Yeah. The main bone. Exactly. So then, grab this and try to go slide it up the main bone. Yeah. There. Trying to get too much of the meat and then I get stuck on the bone, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the filet. Let me get this out. There it is. There it is. Look at this filet. Yeah. So Beautiful we can marinate meat. that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> marinate that and then we can put it on the plank. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll grill it. All right, so we're gonna it's flip it too, over. Yep, flip it over. Same thing on this side. We go like kind of like at an angle here. Mm -hmm. Get the top of the head here. There's some meat in there, you know. Yeah, we gotta do this quick while we still have some light. There. And once you break the skin, you can go inwards. Through the tail. Mm -hmm. Cut that up. There it is. There's the other piece. And I don't know what you want to do with the head. Do uh, you want to? <clears throat> well, I can. Prepare a soup with this. You think it's and too I much. Got, I, I got you think it's too much work tonight, just for a little head like this. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, we can toss them in the, in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's yours. Uh, let's let's do this. Okay. Let's gonna spice these two fillets that uh, Jim just cut it for us, and then I'm gonna use it as oil 
Uh, Jim, what you think about putting squeeze some lime? Oh yeah, like that, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So let's squeeze some lime over here. Oh, look at that. Just a little bit, and then we put it aside. Black pepper, as always, I do this. So you can put a little bit of black pepper on top. You can put as much as you want, you know. That's your fish, that's your taste, you know. And this is, uh, you can, you feel free to use the spice you want, you know. So always when I'm cooking fish, I like to use the lemon pepper seasoning. So I use that too, and I think that this is, gives like a, an additional flavor to the filet. I hope you guys can see, you know, stewed, and you know, we are getting to the dark now, so. And then so leave this plate turn off. Is that okay? Just hit the. Oh. Hit what? The oh, screen. The screen. Gotcha. Yeah. And then some little bit of onion powder. Oh man. Just to give it some yeah, taste. That. And that's it. And that's it. my I friend Dim is gonna spray a little bit of coconut oil on top of this filet. And then we. And the nice thing, let me hold the camera. Yeah. And I would like you, Dim, to explain about this uh, this, yeah, this wood is a board. Ce cedar plank, they call this. Uh -huh. So it's made out of uh, cedar. So okay. when you, you put this whole thing onto the barbecue, it burns it and it smokes the fish. And any moisture from the fish gets absorbed up by the uh, by the plank. So it also it's, it adds flavor to the the fish. Uh -huh. And then it it uh, it holds the fish and keeps all the moisture. Nice. underneath it yeah yeah looks so, tasty all right i'm gonna spray a little oil on it and we're good to go right thanks it's so, okay so this is the, uh, the cedar board, plank the cedar plank. plank plank is a piece of wood yeah okay so that jim uh was explaining um and then the only thing we need to do is yep. to sit on top of the grill exactly and then, and close, then it. close it yep and it's it's gonna smoke the fish it's gonna smoke the fish okay and how long do we need it to wait for, for uh, this that, thing? That, that piece is so thin, it's going to be fast. I think it's going to be 15 minutes, maybe less. We just need to check on it a little okay. bit. We don't want to overcook the fish. Exactly. You know? yeah. So just enough smoke to get in there to get, add some flavor. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to turn out really good. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Look at all the smoke colors around there. Yeah, you, you get go. In close. You go. So once we were waiting for this, we got we just caught this yeah, uh, cut catfish, sail catfish, and then so this is gonna be the next one sitting on top of this girl. Exactly. <laughs> 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 All right, that's uh, that's good enough to eat right there. Right. Uh, I don't. Know. You got a plate? Let's get that off. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Ooh wee! Look at that. That is a piece of wood. Right? Yes. Hey, look. Here, film this. That's tough. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Now, You're gonna bring a fork? Oh, we got a bunch of plastic forks and stuff here. Or should it go with the fingers? No, no. Forks, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me how that tastes. You, you be the. Uh... Actually, I want to try this before we go inside. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Look. Oh look yeah, at that. like the all the white meat. Yeah. Very juicy, you know. Go ahead, Dim. All right. And just say, like you guys seen, like I'm seasoning the, this fillet as well. I was using black pepper. Mm. Uh, lemon pepper seasoning and uh, mm. onion powder. That's it. Good job. Delicious. So let's look how juicy this thing is. You can tell me if you taste the smoke in it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Smoky, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Moist, smoky. Moist. I've never had it like this before. Mm -hmm. and I even didn't know about this thing <laughs> so yeah i really recommend this you guys if you buy this piece of wood you know cedar and it's called a cedar plank yeah and i'm gonna put a link below or in yeah. the description so you guys can find where to buy it and very tasty and uh, let me give a piece 
because my friend here behind the climber is also looking to this. Let me give a, him a piece. Tell us what you think. Mm. I'm sorry, it tastes still smoky. Yeah. Wood taste. Wood taste, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Yeah. So next one. Mm. Mm. I gotta save a, a bite for my my wife too. Did Alexei try it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next one we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna eat the fillet of this um, catfish that we just caught here in the canal. So and then we're gonna cut over here and then we're gonna slice and remove this side and from this side too. With this uh, fish I was thinking maybe to use the head to prepare a soup but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this right now. Maybe we're gonna give this, send this thing back in the water and uh, we can provide more food to the fishes in there. That's it. So this turned out very delicious. And so we just had the sushi and the sashimi with the yellow tuna, right? Was the Blue yellow fin tuna? Bluefin tuna yeah. and yellow tail. That was amazing, very tasty. Now we had this one that we caught here too. And then we're gonna go to the catfish right now. Stay tuned. Yes, we will. Yeah, we're gonna eat. <laughs> Look <at that. laughs> He's too cool, huh? Yes. So here's the catfish filet that I just filet from the fish and then I have seasoned it and then I'm gonna still use the cedar wood as a board to grill this fish and this is gonna be very smoky and woody um, when grilling this and then we're gonna be grilling this when we're sitting here on top of the grill and then we're gonna be using some veggies and this is what we're gonna eat together about 50 minutes and the, the fish and the, the veggies will be ready mm -hmm. this is what we have going on here yeah this is the catfish all done. and uh, all done yeah, on the cedar this. wood mm -hmm. on cedar yeah. wood Mm. Can't really see them, but looks good. Let me know, Jim. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, my fish. Yeah, we have more fish here. Hey, my fish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, you all. I hope you guys like the video. Everything I learned it a lot here with my friend Dean uh, about the cedar wood and how to cut the fish, how to prepare the sushi and the sashimi, and. Uh, was a really cool day and we enjoyed a lot we had the kids and the whole family here playing around the house and we were fishing so i hope you guys enjoyed and stay with us have a good week and subscribe hit thumbs up if you like the video and uh, see you soon bye <laughs>